All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how super amazing and super incredible these two action figures look. I can't wait to show you in this video of this amazing unboxing of Avengers Infinity War, Loki, and Corvus Glaive. So guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. Uh, below. <laughs> Give us a big thumbs up. And we'd love to hear where you're watching from in the world. We haven't really talked about that, but we love seeing, wow, and we're like, oh my gosh, they're from all the way around the world. So guys, let's get started. What do you say? Right? Now! It's so nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G! Vince and Gigi, Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Congratulations on all your success. All right, friends, so welcome back. Look what we have today. We have Avengers Infinity War 2-pack. As far as I know, this is the last Avengers Infinity War set. Of course, they could always make more, but there was a 2-pack that had Vision and Scarlet Witch. There was a 3-pack that had Thor and Groot and Rocket. And now we have this one that has Loki and Corvus Glaive. And I can't tell you how excited I am. Oh, and the other two pack. I'm sorry. Before I forget, it was Winter Soldier and am I forgetting Falcon? So this is the fourth one, and of course all the other ones in between, including the Black Panther one that was far, part of the you know um, the second wave for that. That was Black Panther. That actually said Infinity War. So I'm so excited. This just came out, dropped at Walmart just a few days ago, and I was toy hunting all the Endgame series which check it out on our channel if you haven't seen it already and this is such an awesome figure but we wanted to do those as soon as possible and then jump onto this special edition so let's get started look how great this looks so first of all the packaging looks absolutely gorgeous I love the way the Avengers symbol in the back and that yellowish orange pops out it looks so great these figures look just like the movie and let's look at the art on the side look at this Okay, so it's the same art as the back, but they took uh, this desaturated some of it or put it more of just these tones. But look at this great picture of Loki. Look at this great picture of Corvus Glaive. And yeah, just so outstanding. He, we can finally complete our Black Order. Comes with a Tesseract. Isn't that awesome? Now, it looks like this is just a frosty blue cube, but you know, whatever. And then we have this thing that he kept fighting and stabbed Vision like a million times with it was like all right we get it and then he died himself of the same weapon when was it Captain America drove it through him no I'm sorry it was Vision when Captain America was fighting him right so the irony all right so this is a beautiful package let's see what the back says it's got the exact same art except full color and yeah looks absolutely great these are not action poses of the actual toys but this looks like an action shot of promotional art from the movie and then this looks more like concept art so let's see what it says back here known for his shifting allegiances yeah I'm making sure I pronounce that <laughs> Loki faces evil head-on when he is confronted by the Black Order a sinister group of Thanos cohorts that includes the menacing Corvus Glaive Wow look at that and yep Corvus Glaive should be tons taller, so it looks like his legs go to here, where Loki's only go to here. All right, let's get this bad boy open. We've waited long enough. All right, let's slide this bad boy on out. Okay. And wow, look, okay, here's the cape right here for Loki. But look how great that, it's cool how it looks like it's just floating there. But man, look how he looks. Let's take him on out. Put his uh, put his his cape on there. Look how great this looks. So face looks good. Let's see. The hair is soft enough to be able to turn the head and it not obstruct the movement. 
So that looks great. The head does move down-ish, but I feel like the hair pushes back on it. It moves up-ish. So we have some decent articulation there. We have, all right. Let's see this elbow articulation. Obviously this lip right here isn't gonna let us go any further than that, but it does move all the way around. It's a nice and tight joint. We do have double joints on the elbow. So look how great this arm comes all the way in. That looks outstanding. And then the wrist moves in and out, back and forth. That's great. And has an open hand, so there's a lot we can do with that. So it looks like almost the same arm on this side, except mirror image, right? Oh, and it moves above the bicep, great. Which was something that we didn't see with the new Than Battle Armor Thanos, which was, you know, a little bit disappointing, but still an overall amazing figure. Okay, so it moves all the way around. Look at this great detail. Since uh, it's a mirror image, we do have the double joints right here on the elbow. This hand is open like this, which is different than this slight opening. This one actually could grip the Tesseract, which we'll do in just a minute. We ab crunch. Man, look, that is a crazy low ab crunch and a cr crazy far back ab crunch. Oof, that's... <laughs> I haven't seen that much before. Okay, we do move it to waist. Look at that. And he's got his little man skirt here. So, that's cool. Oh, and it's not attached. So it is, I mean, technically it is, but it slides around. And then his legs got good articulation. They move in the high part of the thigh. We move, uh, bend right here, double joint at the knee. So we got great articulation there. And let's see about these um, boots. They do swivel and pivot. Look at that, back and forth, point and flex. So that's great. So let's look at the detail overall. Look at the great little detail on his, on his suit. That looks awesome, look at the hands. Yep, looks absolutely great. A little bit of gold trim right here on the neck. Definitely looks like him. This is a great Infinity War Loki since he's wearing a different outfit than in uh, the one he wore in Sakaar. These amazing boots. Just great, great detail. All right, and let's put his uh, cape on. Let's see. It does have two little pegs right here, so I guess that goes right here on top. You see those? Okay, so that's going to go right in there. I feel like this would be easy to fall off. I wonder if we need to take the head off to put it on accurately. So, forgive me if I fall off the shot because I'm looking at him instead of looking through the, the camera. There we go. And then this other one. There we go. I guess we'll see if it stays on well or falls off easily. I guess the hair would do good to push it down. So, let's do that. And let's put the cube in his hand. Let's put the Tesseract, right? Let's just pop that bad boy on out here. Here's a close-up of the frosty tesseract. Looks like it already has my fingerprint on there. Mm -hmm. Let's see. After we found out, you know, all about Marvel using it before Nick Fury got it. Uh-oh, can't get it in his hand very well. There we go. We don't have the tesseract. It was destroyed on Asgard. He's like. You really are a terrible brother. <laughs> there we go. That looks absolutely outstanding. Let's turn his head just a little bit more. Or let's bring it out this way, that way. Let's bring this wrist on out. There we are. Let's bring this arm just a little further up. That looks great. All right, let's see if we can get him to stand up without a stand. We sure did. Let's just put him right here. Tell me that doesn't look absolutely amazing. We might have to lean him back a little bit more. But for now, let's move on to Corvus Glaive. Corvus Glaive looks nice and tall. Look at that. He looks absolutely outstanding. Let's get his little... Wanna be vision killer, right? And... Let's get him on out of here. He's got open fingers here, so I want to be very mindful of that. So I'm going to push his elbow out instead of his hand out. See? That's how you do it. And then be very careful when pulling his cape out because it's just a little sliver right here. Push it in like this. There we go. Right, set that aside. Look how tall he is. 
I guess he's not tons taller, but he is significantly taller. And let's take a look at this. Man, look at this face. I remember when Proxima Midnight was like, get up, and he's like, I can't. Because he already got beat up by like Black Widow and such. So that was awesome. Okay, let's see what sort of head articulation we have. We have some some good head articulation. It would be great, but this constricts it, and obviously we do want this like that. It looks like it's attached right here to the head. This is super soft plastic. Look at that. Um, wonderful detail on the face. Turns side to side really well. When you push it back, it does move, but then it just pushes back on it. See? So let's see. It goes down pretty good, too. All right. Look at this awesome, awesome cape and outfit right here. Wow, look at that beautiful detail. I love the way it's kind of like worn and washed like that. I love that it has the this print on it. You know what's interesting though? Is that it looks like this print didn't line up. It looks like it's supposed to line up here because you see there's those patterns right here. And it looks like it looks like it slightly pushed this way on accident, which I mean would be an error in printing, but I'm not complaining because it still looks cool. You can, if, if, if I wouldn't have looked real close, I wouldn't have been able to tell that. So I'm not even upset at that. Oh, it's got, it's great that it's got on the inside too. So that looks cool. Let's see. I'm sure it comes off too. Do we want it to come off? Probably not. We would have to take the head off. And yeah, it definitely looks like it comes off, but why? Right? We don't want to take it off. Okay, so. Let's see what articulation we have on the arms. They look like they could definitely go all the way around if this wasn't here, but because of that, we don't need it to do that. Um, it turns on the high part of the bicep. Um, the joint feels super weak. Look at that. Right here at the elbow. So you have to, to use a double joint. You need to push on here to support it. It does move all the way in. Look. Looks like he's using a cell phone. Hello? Who's calling me? Nah, I'm busy. Okay, he didn't really talk like that, but... That's what it sure looks like. And then he's got this hand, which is a different form of open. That looks cool. Nice and spooky hands. Definitely has full range of mobility in this arm. It's just restricted by this, which looks absolutely amazing, let me say. Okay, so he moves underneath the rib cage, and that's where he turns. Look at that. So he does not move at the waist, but that's where he does move right there. You know what? He does move at the waist. Wild. So he's got a separate piece right here. And then he does move at the waist. That's not something you see every day or maybe even at all when they move there. They don't typically also move at the waist. So that's interesting. Okay, well, cool. Uh, it's a little looser than I would have liked, but um, definitely a cool feature. You know, I can give them an E for effort in the ambition that they had there. Uh, moves the high part of thigh. Great detail right there. It looks way techno. Okay, bends double uh, joints right there at the knee. They look great. Look at these wicked looking alien feet. And then definitely pivots and, and bends and points and flexes there. Yep. And let me just say, this character looks absolutely outstanding. I love the way this is almost a glossy metallic finish. And the arms, look at that, the wrist move back and forth, the hands turn. And there's some great, great um, sculpting detail on this figure. Look at this. Doesn't that look amazing? All the way down to his outfit. This is raised. You see that? So, absolutely outstanding. Let's get him here and let's take a look at his weapon. And that looks sick. Boom. Poor vision. <laughs> so, let's see if we can have him holding it with both hands, right? Let's get this going right here. I remember seeing the previews from Infinity War and they showed Vision being stabbed right off the bat and them like already trying to take the time, uh, the Mind Stone out, but we didn't exactly know what was happening. So we were doing a lot of speculating. We assumed it was Thanos already taking it out, but that wasn't what was happening at that point. But in any event, crazy, right? So, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can stand them up. And there we go. There we are. How does that look? I think it looks absolutely outstanding. Look at this. 
It looks super creepy, too. So, guys, tell me what you think. Do you think these figures are awesome? Do you think they're worth it? Uh, you want my opinion? Absolutely worth it. Look at this. Look how great this action figure looks. Look at how great this low-key looks. Absolutely. So, guys, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next so you can get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We can't wait to hear from you. Give us a big thumbs up. And, yep, another wonderful Marvel Legends set, especially on the way to Avengers uh, Endgame. I can't wait. You can't wait. So, the time this video is not out yet, so we're speculating left and right. But, yep, love to talk to you about it. So, guys, until next time. Thanks for watching Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G.